When you first start Daz Studio 4.5, the first character that pops in is the Genesis character. What we're going to do is take this base character only, and this is the same steps you'd follow for any morph characters that you create and export that you want facial animation to when you get into iClone. So I go into my content directory and I'm looking for the DUF file that morphs and maps the facial bones for the lips, eyes, eyelids, etc. to the character so that they can be used inside of iClone. I come down here and I've already dropped this in my folder. It's under Library People Genesis. That's where I put mine. Where you put yours is up to you. But you take this and you drag it to the character. And it'll say this preset contains frames beyond the length of your current timeline. Would you like to add frames? Yes. And what it does, it adds 230, the number of frames that I started with, up to 1710 frames. Now I've got the head already selected, so I'm going to zoom in on it. Bring this camera back. And as this plays, I'm going to take it off a loop. As this plays, you'll see the different morphs of this face uh, react. You'll see the blinking, the mouth motion, the brow, the eyelids, it can wink, smile, frown, whatever the case is. All these are facial morphs that have been applied using the DUF file. And once that's done, you don't have to run through this. I'm just showing you that it did work. All I did was drop it onto the character's head. Once you've got this character done, I'm going to put a basic skin on this character surfaces and it's a default material that I use I created it and specifically for this purpose other than the gray character because we won't be able to see the eyes once we get into eye clone so you can watch them work so it's done it's went through its cycle now it's back to zero now all the files that we're loading were down here at the bottom of the screen if you were watching it so now I'm gonna take the same character I'm gonna go back to scene I'm gonna choose the Genesis and then I'm going to choose surfaces. Now, if you go into editor, Genesis, you start with gray. If I go presets or shader baker, if you've already put it on there, you choose the character themselves, select all, and then you go to presets, the materials, and you've got different skins. I've got uh, for this character. A material called default is part of its name anyway so if you got default material you can go there and this is the default material and then it's going to apply it or it should anyway I'm waiting for it to apply it if it doesn't then I'm just going to drag it to the character and apply it And there we go. Now the base character is already applied. That's the surface. It's so we can see these eyes and lips and teeth when the character is actually exporting. So if I take this character and I, I've got it basically set up. We're interested in the facial area here. The rest of the motions have always worked in the past. This is just a new update. So I'm going to take this character. I'm going to do File, Export. But first, right click select all file export and I'm going to use this same and overwrite it and save it and it's going to give me the warning I say yes I want all of these I take out lights and cameras everything else I keep selected make sure it's FBX 2012 binary if you use one of these other choices make sure it's binary you can try the other some of them you, you will get options that will work also. So I accept it and you'll see the lips. It's going through all the morphing for the controls, head controls, where the bones are mapped to the mesh. 
so that they can be controlled using the puppet tool inside of iClone. Once I finish this section, then we'll take it into 3D Exchange 5 and you'll see what options happen there. This is just a base Genesis character. No clothing applied, but that doesn't stop you from doing it. You just need to know the procedure. And we're done. So, once that recording's done, then I go ahead and save it, not decimate it. I don't save it as a decimated character, but I save it as a full size because once you decimate, you can't bring it back. You can always decimate later, but save your scene as you see it here with everything applied if they've got clothing, etc. So now we're ready to go into 3D Exchange. So I've saved the scene, the mapping's been put on the face, and now I'm going to go ahead and close DAS. The next scene that comes up will be 3D Exchange, and I'll do it just like I did here. I'll bring it up step by step, the basics of bringing it in, and that's it. And then you can apply it to iClone. It's very quick once you get it from here. It's very quick to bring it into iClone. So I'm going to pause here. Next scene will be bringing it in to 3D Exchange 5.